Kurt also pointed out that they're going to continue to push and then be intentional, and Alyssa adds to that even if her role has shifted as she returns. John Quill Jones wins the tip against Natasha Howard. We are underway. In this second half, Thomas pulls up that short. Ionescu has it tipped. Jones rips it away, and <laughs> Connecticut's on the board first. I think people really have to understand about Bree's game. She does so much work before she even gets the basketball. First time All-Star, ranks fourth in the league in points in the paint. Howard up fakes, knocks down the J. To live and die by the three, which puts pressure on defense. Howard was out four to six weeks with a sprained MCL. Picks the pocket there, four points for Howard. Uh, you saw there she was able to take advantage of her quickness versus Bree Jones. But, you know, anybody that draws John Quell Jones is going to have a tough day of the office as Sammy Whitcomb is able to come up and finish. Thomas sees plenty of space. Inside of the rim, Connecticut tough start from the field. Numbers for Howard, has Laney, she does the rest. Inescu, Sim stop and start. Similar to Natasha Howard, she had not been in previous matchups. Great ball fake by Benaja Laney. Absolutely unreal, Monica. Just a terrific story. Robin, great stuff, documenting the journey the last eight months for AT. And you even saw as we came back from that break, she's talking to the team about adjustments. She's not afraid to call them out. She's not afraid to force the rise in temperature. It was a great move and it was solid defense by Jasmine Jones as well. Inescu, the bounce feed. Howard off that pivot foot, spins and splash. January, curls around the screen. Heideman tees up a three and swirls it home. McKenna's going to be rookie of the year. She told us today at media availability. And she said, it, you know, we've got our group chat among our rookie class as the spin cycle for the engine is finally good. Posting up high. Finds JJ, slice through the paint, off the window. Great cut, great cut. And John Qual had not had so much luck working one-on-one -on, -one on the block, but that time she's able to get the ball on the move. Assist from Alyssa Thomas. Looking for her win. She seems to have good stamina. Onye Wede plays it in. <laughs> John Quell's decision not to play last year due to COVID, whether it's the unfortunate injury to AT. Speak of her, Bree Jones has been able to emerge with more confidence, more patience. That's the coach of the month from August, in case y'all uh, forgot. Okay, <laughs> Kurt Miller has been doing this. Letitia Heideman, second triple of the night. Elevate your game at this point in the season as you prepare to head in that championship ring chase. Matisha Heideman, her third three of this first half. She's locked in defensively as well. Connecticut has scored 19 of the last 25 points. Ionescu slings. Onyenwede, friendly bounce. Put New York back up one. Heideman, the Hezzy. Shovels to Carrington. <laughs> now they're doing it inside of the big square. Inescu knifes the lane. Up and down we go. This is the pace New York wants to play at. Number two in the W in possessions per 40, Carrington. You can see the confidence of this rookie rising minute by minute. Off the hands of Howard, Carrington's there. Thomas lays it in. <laughs> My favorite Arthur episode is the Binky Nightlight one. <laughs> it's so random. Howard's Very got random. 12. I just remember characters. I don't remember episodes so much. Okay. <laughs> well, you'll think of something. Something will come to me. Sabrina Ionescu with the steal. Onyenwede draws the foul. Count it. I and one. Leaves it short. Laney the rebound. This is a little bit too frenetic for the Connecticut Sun. Coach Miller talked about them being intentional through the course of the ball. Liberty Squad is locked in defensively. They've made it a hellacious night in terms of getting the ball to JJ efficiently, and they're hitting their outside shot. Despite that make by Onyemwede, two for 10, New York from three. Thomas, diagonal cut, puts it in. Alyssa Thomas has checked in in the first quarter. If you're just joining us, played about six minutes. Usual starting five out there right now. Yanescu drains a triple. Thomas back in to Brianna Jones. Knocked away by Howard. Still plenty of time. Thomas fires. You bet. So there was a change to the scoreboard just a moment ago. Now it's a one-point Connecticut lead. 
Laney swirls home a three. Up by two, Connecticut basketball. After the Ionescu miss, JJ demonstrating her post moves. Ionescu with a rip of a bounce pass. Howard stopped. Ionescu has it back, rotates up top, fires and drains the three. And that's what we've seen from the Liberty today, not to mention they are hitting shots at a high clip. I keep looking at this box score like it's crazy because I feel like they've hit so many more threes, but it says they're only four of 12. And get offensive putbacks. I mean, those quickly accumulate. Five seconds on the game clock, Ionescu. How did that thread through? Howard lays it in. New York by five in the opening minute of the third. Dewana Bonner had seven first half points. Leans in, rattles home. She's fired up. Listen, Thomas looking January into John Quell. Too easy. I think pushing sometimes in layman's terms, you think that's a team that's only looking to get in transition, but not necessarily. Allen. Jockwell Jones rebound at number seven. Had a season high 17 against New York in mid July before the Olympic break. Brianna Jones <laughs> uses the heel. Can you imagine trying to score on all of that? 6 3 and change? And the length and just the attitude? Howard knocks down a long two. 16 for Natasha Howard. Her 12th game of the season dealt with injury during most of the first half. At 16, last time out against Dallas. January on the kick out. Makes a pay. Sun with the lead and the ball. JJ off the catch. Oh! In Laney's eye. This team looks drastically different without her. Flat out. What has she scored? Single digits one time this season? Um, and she's just been so consistent. So it's to me it's John Quell and it's not much of a contest. The squad had to tread water. Went two and three in her absence. Brianna Jones, that friendly bounce. Her move went right into Josh Quell Jones, who was waiting to contest that jump shot. Sun by seven. Skip pass, Bonner, three, money. Bonner fakes the pull up. January cut, or Bonner cut afterwards. Thomas on the swing. Oh, -ho! touches every angle. <laughs> Her first season with New York, fourth WNBA team, time with Indiana, Minnesota, and Seattle. She's been a tremendous pickup for this team. Bonner drains the J up to 18 points. I mean, the Sun are just so lethal on both sides of the floor. Like, sometimes you get a defensive team and you know it's going to be a rock fight, right? Like, they can't score, so they play defense. They but play this great team offense. can score, as you see there, ball move. Heidemann made three threes in the first half. Has the mismatch. There's another one, JJ. Oh, that's unfair over Dee Dee Richard. Heidemann, extra pass to the corner. Charles Short, Carrington tracks it down. Steps through, JJ cleans it up. A double-double for Jockwell Jones. I think it's cool for us and fans to, to, to chalk it up, but yep. when players say it's a game at a time, that's legit. You know what I mean? I just think you, you're seeing this team grow every time they step on the floor. Today, I've been so impressed with Dijonet. And of course, the return of AT as John Quell gets another one to go. JJ picks it up. <laughs> Dijonet Carrington with eight points. In your second unit players. Obviously, Kyla in her second year, John Quell, or next, excuse me, John Quell, Dijonet in her first, and then Alyssa in her first game back if she gets another basket to go in practice, both when she's on the floor and as another coach. She talked about contesting shooters. Howard says, don't matter, 23 for Natasha Howard. It doesn't necessarily come off the same, um, and so I just love the balance that those two probably offer, and, and I can imagine that that's been a tremendous blessing to have that support from your partner. By the way, after a couple of free throws for Dijanae Carrington, she's matched her season high and the Rook up to a career best. 12 points right on cue. 98-69 the final. The Connecticut Sun have won a franchise record 13 games in a row.